Eric Ten Hag to stay. And of course, three strikers that's been mentioned in Manchester United's list that you guys will be interested in. But first of all, even before we get to the news, make sure, guys, you subscribe to Red United TV and press that notification bell. And of course, share across all social media platforms and smash that like button as well and become a member of Red United TV. Right, let's get straight into it because Manchester United have finally, finally, after a long time, guys, and we've been waiting. It's been two weeks, two bloody weeks since the FA Cup final till we know exactly who is our manager. We've been waiting. On Friday, the, the transfer windows opened, Euro start, and we was running. Ineos, you are slow as the Glazers. Give us something. We need something. But guess what? Two days before the transfer window opens, Manchester United decide to let us know that they have decided to stick with Eric Ten Hag. And of course, we have the Eric Ten Hag outs and inners that Eric Turner outers are probably fuming. They're probably thinking, what the hell? You actually allowed this guy, this scrub, to continue this job after the failure of last season? Some Eric Turner inners are like, whoopee! Oh, happy days! Oh, happy days! Oh, happy days! When Eric Turner stays! When Turner stays! You know what I mean like that? But yes, Manchester United have decided to let us know and then of course there are a lot of outlets and media outlets, they're probably fuming and screaming because they were always Eric Ten Hag out. But guess what, media? Eric Ten Hag has the last laugh. But let's just be, let's hold on for a hot second because Eric Ten Hag can start the season off, start badly, and then Manchester United could end up sacking him. But there is more news that because, of course, even though he's staying, there's a news on a new contract. But guys, sit back. Let's go straight into it. It was around 10 o'clock, 10.30 at night for those who was on their phones and they were hearing their phones going, bleep, 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 when they went like, what the hell is going on? It is late in the UK, it's so around 10.30, everyone should be in bed. Well, the guy himself, David Austin, decided to tweet out, exclusive, Eric Ten Hag to stay at Manchester United manager. Manchester United end of the season review culminated with decisions to keep 54-year-old in position after talks today, Dutchmen will remain at Old Trafford, plus hold negotiations over contract extension. That's right, guys. Contract extension. You heard it. The guy's getting a contract extension. Two seasons, two trophies. Main out outers are fuming. I'm telling you guys, they're pissed. They're like, what the hell? A contract extension? Not just one season? Hold it down. Slow your roll, you jabroni. Don't just give him a new contract extension, make him stay, you know. Let him see out the last year of his contract, the Manchester United outers are saying. The, the, probably the media outlets as well, the British media outlets as well, probably saying and thinking the same thing. Then you got Fabrizio, the Don Romano, the transfer guru himself, because people say it ain't confession until we get the here we go. Fabrizio Romano tweeted out himself, breaking news, Eric Ten Hag stays at Manchester United. Decision has been made. Ten Hag has been informed of the final decisions by Ineos. Contract talks also follows as David Austin has reported Ten Hag will be Manchester United manager for next season. And then he continues to say Manchester United have started initial talks with Eric Ten Hag and his camp over new contract. Negotiations will follow to agree on new contracts, keeping going together. Also on the summer transfer window plans, Eric Ten Hag stays. No, no, for me, in my own personal opinion and view, looking at the whole situation, the new contract as well, with Manchester United looking to offer him a contract extension there have been talks about transfers and incomings of Eric Ten Hag taking a seat back and allowing the recruitment to, team to do the recruiting but then everyone needs to remember Eric Ten Hag's existing contract does state that he gets veto on all transfers so there's a little bit of amendment and I'm expecting Eric Ten Hag's lawyers and Manchester United lawyers to sit down and try and find a way out of the Eric Ten Hag to have veto over all transfers and allow the recruitment team to do its job. Because I'll be honest with you guys, Eric Ten Hag's player profile, he's recruiting this last season, was absolutely trash. Like, it was garbage, rubbish, rubbish, like Mason Mount. Really? We could have got it for free, you know? You look at you look at Andrea Nana, oh, nah, nah, nah. But he turned out to be decent towards the end of the season. Um, you look at Sergio Regulon letting him go, and then we had a left back problem. So, uh, I Casemiro, it was great first season and never really worked out. Terrell Melasha injured, missing. 
Like somebody tell me where my last year is. We don't know. But again, it could just you could just tell that it hasn't been the best. You know, Martinez has been exceptional in his first season, but he was injured throughout the second season. Rashmish Hoyland, 17 goals, but struggled. And no backup striker. You know what I mean? So let the recruitment guys do their job, which I have no opinion of, no thing against. I think they should be doing the job. They're high to do that job. So they should be doing that job, guys. I'm very sure you guys agree with me. And of course, during this whole situation, as Manchester United took forever and ever, our men to, to figure out whether they want to keep him. They saw so many of the different managers. They saw Scrubgate. And I'm still sick to this day of hearing that name, Scrubgate. Guys, I cannot believe that Scrubgate was linked to Manchester United. You know, to me, you know what I feel like? Because I will HM my heart. I flip. I flip that the way Ronaldo flips at fans when they chant, Messi, Messi. Like, what the fuck do you mean, Southgate? Get, get that Scrubgate name out of your lip. Get his name out of your goddamn mouth. Please. Don't ever mention his name. And then you got De Zerbi, And then, of course, you got Thomas Tuchel, who was linked, and Pochettino. And uh, there's one more, which I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, but, yes, Manchester United decided, you know what, you know, what's the point selling this iPhone 7 to buy another iPhone 7? Because these guys that have been ma- mentioned are no, nowhere near better than Eric Ten Hag. They're not as successful as Eric Ten Hag. Thomas Tuchel is Champions League winner. Won a few domestic trophies in, um, I think, I think in France, and won in Germany as well. But got sacked and had problems with management and had problems with ownership as well, going back and forth, being sacked. So it was never going to be Thomas Tuchel as he decided to take a break. And like I said before, with the whole transfer thing, that Manchester United need to hash down and figure it out. I'll be honest with you guys. In my own personal opinion, I'm very much pleased to see Manchester United see out the third year. But at the same time, I can understand um, Eric Ten Hag out as this season has been extremely poor. But what helped was the FA Cup. But that doesn't um, override everything that's happened this whole entire season. We've had uh, injuries. And and of course, they took that into consideration. I read that Sir Dave Bracefield was very keen and in favour of most of all the staff members, especially the board members, I mean, in keeping Eric Ten Hag, especially considering the amount of injuries um, towards the whole entire season, so many players out, which which and hindered the manager to play the style that he wanted, which was transitional football. And and again, I would tell Eric Ten Hag, bruv, don't ever bring that transitional football. That just sounds like counter-attacking football. We want attacking football. That as well, you need to consider that you need to make major changes. And and the one thing I have to say, when when we're keeping Eric Ten Hag, please, Manchester United. Get rid of the players that are not meant to be here, you know. Get rid of them all, all those players. Just get rid of them. There's so many players that need to go. And for those who are wondering, this is definitely the end of Jaden Sancho. Jaden Sancho, you are pissed. You're leaving this club at the end of the day. You thought Eric Tenog was going to get sacked. Well, guess what? He's going to outlast you because he's staying another season. Greenwood will definitely be leaving because Manchester United want to get rid. There'll be players that Harry Maguire probably thinking, oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit, man. I'm definitely leaving this season. It's just not going to work for me. Scott McTominay had a good season last season, but definitely will be one of those guys to go. So there will be a, a lot of changes, and I hope so. You know, the Deadwood needs to get sold. Get rid of the Deadwood for the manager to stay, with the manager staying. But honestly speaking, um, as I said earlier on, it's it's just been one of the interesting things, you know. Um, Two seasons, two trophies, a good overachieving in the first season and then underachieving, in my opinion, it squares each other up. But any other manager in a top profession like Manchester City or Real Madrid would have got sacked for this poor season. And the FA Cup was not good enough. So I can understand the ETH outers when they say they wanted him out. It's cool. But at the end of the day, I'm 50-50 because I become became conflicted after the FA Cup victory, you know, because I was Eric Ten Hag out. And I was like, you know what? You know what? Maybe it's my emotions, but to treat a human like that is unfair. You know, to sack him, the rumours that was coming out, especially the media tablets, how dare you? The, the, the news that came out for Eric Ten Hag, you know, that he will get sacked regardless of whether we win the FA Cup, and it never materialised. So, ha-ha to you pussy old bruv. Ha-ha! But Manchester United, we need to fix up this summer. For those guys, just let me know what your thoughts on Eric Ten Hag. And then we have three strikers who Manchester United are looking to sign that's been put on the list. And that happens to be Joshua, Xerxes, Jonathan David 
and my guy, Ivan Tony for Brentford. And it's an interesting one because when you got Joshua Xerxes, Joshua Xerxes who scored 12 goals for Bologna um, in this season. Joshua Xerxes who, who scored 12 goals for Bologna this season. Very powerful striker, quick as well. Very good on the ball. Can score goals from outside the box, run on to play. It's a very good candidate, a young talent for Manchester United to sign as it fits Manchester United profile. The other striker that was mentioned as well, Jonathan David, who has scored 26 goals in the last two seasons at Lim. He's been scoring goals in the Champions League and, and also in league are doing well playing for Canada. So that, that as well could be a very good signing for Manchester United, in my opinion. You know, a striker that's capable of scoring 20 goals and is of good age as well, very mature for Manchester United as, for him to slip into the team. Ivan Tony, who's just come back from a, a ban in January, who's been one of the best players for Brentford in the last two seasons since Brentford has been in the Premier League, I think the season before that, who has been scoring some spectacular goals, who's currently with the England national team for Euros, will be a great addition, or good addition, should I say, for the Manchester United team. So guys, you guys let me know in your comments, let me know what your thoughts are. Who would you go for? Ivan Tony, Xerxes, David, and your thoughts on Eric Tenno? Should he have got sacked? Should he have stayed? Did they make a mistake? Are you excited? It is what it is, guys. Guys, You guys let me know in the comments. Make sure you subscribe, smash that like button, share across all social media platforms, and see you for the next one. Peace out.